The Indianapolis Colts come to town on Sunday to play the Eagles week three of the 2018 NFL season. Let's take our first look at the Colts. Hello, everyone. I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro, along with the Hall of Famer Brian Westbrook. And the Colts on Sunday, Brian, doing the Eagles a big favor. Yeah. Beating the Washington Redskins on the road and serving some notice that for Frank Reich, the new head coach who we love, uh, this team might be pretty formidable on Sunday. Well, but you can get your quarterback. Andrew Luck, who's Not been out for a long yeah. time, you get him back, and then you stop a running attack for the Redskins in the first week that just blew up. You saw Adrian Peterson have a great week the first week running the football, catching out of the backfield. Same type of thing for Chris Thompson the week before. And now the Colts go down into Washington and say, you're not going to be able to run the ball on us. We're going to make Alex Smith win the game with his arm, and he wasn't able to do it. But again, Andrew Luck had his way. And we all need to be reminded of just how great Andrew Luck was mm -hmm and potentially is, again, suffering a serious shoulder injury, didn't play last yeah. year. We all wondered if he'd even play this year. Well, the Eagles know about Luck. The Colts nursed him throughout the offseason, throughout the summer, and he's played well through two weeks. He is a superstar franchise quarterback. The good thing about Andrew Luck, and this is kind of what I think Frank Reich is trying to build there, you put good weapons around. They don't have a, an all-star run game. Naeem Hines is a rookie, a guy that can get it done a little bit, but he's more of a change of pace guy. But you have T.Y. Hilton. You have Ryan Grant. You have Jack Doyle, a Pro Bowl tight end. You also have Eric Ebron, who's done a great job, especially early on in the season. So he has some options, some weapons on that side of the ball offensively. Now, for us, when I talk about defense, it goes back to the same thing. How do we affect Ryan? I mean, uh, Andrew Luck, how do we make sure that he does not get comfortable in this football game? If we can do that, we're right back to where we were before last week. So Andrew Luck, at his prime, was a player with really good mobility, yeah. big arm, mm -hmm. could beat you with his legs a little bit here. Is he the same quarterback now? I don't think he has that deep ball, that confidence in that deep ball that he had previously. I still don't think he has a zip on the ball, but he's just as accurate. He still has the ability to get outside of the pocket. He's not taking the big shots that he was taking early on in his career. There is a player to watch on this Colts defense. His name is Darius Leonard, and he's a linebacker. He's a rookie, and he's been mm -hmm. a game wrecker yep. through two weeks. Don't know much about him, got to be honest with you, but he's somebody that the Eagles – will be very familiar with, and he is the focal point of this Indianapolis defense. You know, it's weird. You know, offensively, I, I even as a player, I, I, I looked in and I respected the guys on their side of the ball, and I think Darius Leonard actually is a really good player. But offensively, for us, we have to fix what we have to fix. So Frank, so, uh, you know, Doug Peterson and everybody else, who we, whether we get the quarterback back, whether it doesn't matter what happens. We need to fix our offensive situation and not even worry about what the defense does. Keep the penalties to a minimum and try to move the football. So the Indianapolis Colts come to town here. They are one and one. They are led by Andrew Luck on offense. And let's talk a little bit about the coaching staff because yeah. when Frank Reich, the offensive coordinator here, leaves Philadelphia after the Super Bowl, the Colts jilted in the <laughs> coaching search for, by Josh McDaniels. Frank goes there. He takes over this team. He's extremely positive. Yeah. Uh, he's extremely aggressive in his play calling. And I think we're going to see a lot of the same concepts offensively with the Colts that we will see with the Eagles on Sunday? Well, I think that if you're the Colts, you've watched this game against last week against Tampa Bay. You say, we have to make sure that they answer those questions to the test. Will they respect the deep ball? You know, we got beat up by the deep ball last week by Deshaun Jackson, and, and Mike Evans had his way as well. They don't have Mike Evans on the team. They don't have a big, big receiver like that on the outside. But if you're Frank Wright, you're saying, we have to make sure that their secondary will not get sucked in by the play action and pass the ball over top. That's the, one of the questions that we have to answer defensively. That's what Frank Wright would, would go after early on in the game. Yeah, and the Colts defense, 10th in the NFL in rushing uh, defense. So they're pretty good, yeah. and they've showed well. And challenge. It would be a challenge. A much better team than everybody kind of thought. As you looked at the schedule way back in the spring, you penciled in the Indianapolis <laughs> Colts for a certain W. Yeah. Well, now the Colts are coming off a big win at Washington, and they are feeling good about themselves. The Indianapolis Colts, the opponent on Sunday. That's our first look for Brian Westbrook, Dave Spadaro. Thanks so much for joining.